Do you comment on her on her stuff though? I comment on yours. Oh yeah, I you know. I was, well, I didn't know that you did on mine until just now. Okay, so you have to come over here first and sign a waiver and pick out which one you want to do. And I think we all picked this one because obviously we don't want to do any of this stuff. So we're just going to do this one. And you have to buy socks here, which were $3.99. Yeah. So yeah. Have to go this way. Okay. You get a pair of socks too. What? They have massage chairs for the parents. They have massage chairs for the parents? Yeah. Well, that's lovely. Is that part of my thing? Is that part of my package? <laughs> On today's episode, my daddy takes over the trampoline. <laughs> what? It's about to be adventurous. Oh, yeah. I can't even lay flat. I know. What's I know. Her. Well, we're all going to have wet pants when we leave here, I'm sure. Probably should have... put for a pull -off. Put the Depends. You probably could have wore a pull-up Parker. I don't think you could have wore Parker's pull-up. <laughs> Look at this. The adults get to sit in relaxing chairs while the kids play. That's fun. I might have to pee first. Just to empty my bladder. Just empty my bladder. I'm actually going to empty my bladder before I start jumping. Ooh, floors are slippery. Yeah, these really cool, like, bumper car things look up that thing is quite crazy looking wow it looks like it spins like the whole seat itself spins that's kind of crazy and then you can walk through all this stuff huh that's very bright cool and they give you yeah because i mean i probably will very barely jump i mean i just emptied my bladder but that doesn't mean anything I don't either, but. Last time I was at so, how much are the lockers? $6 for four hours. Oh, six dollars for a I know she can do that. Like the, like oh, the big the slide? Oh, okay. Cool. She wants to go jump. Oh! I think I need to hold myself. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a lot of fun. That's fun. Go girls, go girls. That's fun. I cleared my bladder just for this. <laughs> my legs are like blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, no. It's good exercise. Props and Parker. I mean, all we do is jump. Look at us. We can't do anything fancy. We're just jumping. <laughs> oh, girl. Woo. Wow. Love that, Parker. This is the dodgeball section. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa dang. <laughs> she got really aggressive. You guys are so funny. No. <laughs> you fell too. She got you, Parker! Well, that was a lot of fun. And I'm actually headed down to Rosie's right now to secure ourselves a table. Um, for all of us, we're gonna have lunch. And then my sister and Hannah are gonna head back home. They stayed the night with Courtney last night. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Um, so there's a lot of music in the background. So a lot of like um, copyrighted music. So obviously I couldn't film like too much in there. But I did take a bunch of pictures and we did have a lot of fun. But that place, woo girl, I cannot like, my sister and I are dying because... <clears throat> 
Um, my sister's not exactly 50 yet. She will be in two years. Um, but, uh, we are trying to like jump on the trampoline and then all of a sudden, here we go. Jump, jump, jump. We got to pee. <laughs> we have to clear our bladders. It's all, it's all part of the experience. Jumping on trampolines when you're over 50. Ooh, I love that Range Rover thing. I love your Range Rover. Yes, ma'am, I do. That's a nice one. It's a nice Range Rover. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go down here and secure our seat at Rosie's because we all love Rosie's. It's so good. Y'all know how much I love me some Rosie's. You got to get in here early. This place fills up quickly. Perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. But anyway, this is what I got. Two chicken tacos. What did Hannah get? Uh, Nacho Supreme. And what did Parker get? Polo Loco. And what did Mommy get? Mahi, Mahi, Mahi. Mahi, Mahi. And what did you get? To go. It's gone. It's Polo done. Verde. Polo Verde. It's basically cheesy chicken, but with cilantro. It's so good. And Rosie's is the best ever in the whole wide world. Alrighty, so it is two o'clock on the dot and I just got back. Um, I had a great morning with my sister and the girls. We talked about our Disney trip coming up in October. We talked about all kinds of sorts of things. But anyway, I am home and I'm actually going to go ahead and try to get myself comfortable. And um, I'm going to clean up the kitchen and just kind of do some like normal things around the house, things that I always do around the house. Brian mode. I actually want to take you guys outside and show you guys like our flowers and stuff. All of this stuff just looks so great. I actually need to straighten up my honeysuckle out there and start, you know, winding it up around the thing. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the bathroom first and then um, we'll go outside for a little walk. I'll show you guys around. Also, if you guys were wondering why my mom wasn't included with our little girls day today, it's because my mom is homesick with shingles, sadly. Yeah, my mom has shingles. Oh. All right, so I actually wanna start with like the front. So there's my like potted plants by the front door. Here's my little bushy bush. And then here's that one gets like so heavy it falls over. And I needed to go over there and start winding up some of my honeysuckle around that. So it can start you know, crawling up there. And there's a Japanese maple that we put in. Here's all of my like beautiful flowers. All the pretty flowers. My black eyed Susans. I have no clue what these are. Oh, there's a bee on that. Big bee. That looks like one of those moth things. But, um, and then over here, we have more. Black Eyed Susans, and that must have bloomed. I don't know what that is, but more Black Eyed Susans. And then of course, look how beautiful this thing looks. Thing is so pretty, so gorgeous. But yeah, this is what the front looks like. I can't wait till these like, get a little bit bigger and grow. They'll be nice and full. But yeah, that's what it looks like out here. So pretty. Good morning, friends. I'm stopping off at Dutch Brothers this morning. It is about 8.30 in the morning. I have a hair appointment <clears throat> in about 30 minutes. And I'm actually going to get a significant amount kind of cut off. Probably about that much. And then a bunch of like fun like layers in my hair. Um, still long enough though for a ponytail, but short enough to be a little bit more like manageable but i need to get some of this like stuff cut off so that is what i am doing today <clears throat> stopping off first and at dutch brothers and picking up my or getting a um, golden eagle which i've seen a lot of you guys have actually been trying the golden eagle as well it's good right i told y'all it is so good 
but I've also just been getting the the medium size one. Um, I don't want the large one because I said the other day the large one to me seems a little bit watered down. So I'm not exactly sure if that's because it like melts quick. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud with things, but I the medium I could actually seem to get through drinking that one. Um, let me get my stuff out. Hold on. See, it's always a party here. We're like jamming here at the party. Oh, she brought it. Good deal. All right. So I'm actually getting gas as well. Um, we have been so busy this weekend. Like we hardly have been home and it's, it kind of like, it's good and bad actually, because I didn't get to get a lot of things done at home this weekend. I'm trying to get this thing figured out so it'll stay. So it's not working. Okay, let's see if we can get it this way. Okay, maybe that way. It's still not working. Okay, so I haven't been home and I have, haven't been able to get hardly anything done at home, which stinks because now I'm like backed up on a bunch of stuff, which I'll figure it out. I'll get back to it this today or something. But um, I just wish this thing would set up. That's what it needs to do. It just needs to like look at me. There we go. It's supposed to follow me. It's a gimbal. It's supposed to follow me everywhere I go. Um, but anyway, so we've been so busy. So Friday night we were gone. We did not get to watch the um, opening ceremonies of the Olympics. So I completely missed everything. And I'm actually just now getting caught up on the whole controversy of the opening Olympics. And um, it's funny because I didn't know anything about it until last night, which is funny because somebody pointed out to me, like I asked a question on my community tab on YouTube if anybody's watching the Olympics. And I said, I am. I'm watching gymnastics. I'm watching beach volleyball. I'm watching, oh, something else I was watching. Hold on. Okay, so I have a few minutes before I go into my hair salon. Anyway, um, I'm using my same girl, the new girl that I used the last time. Her name is Hannah. She's over here at Stove House. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's going to be kind of surprised when I tell her exactly kind of what I want to do. Um, but anyway, so yeah, the whole controversy about the opening Olympics. I did not watch the opening Olympics. As I said earlier, um, I didn't actually catch up on all that stuff until last night. Um, after somebody had mentioned it and I was telling them that I was watching it and asking you guys, if you guys are watching all the things and I'm like, what, what the heck is going on? Like I had no clue, like what all the huge problem and dilemma was. Um, and then I started looking it up and researching and, um, they weren't depicting the Last Supper. They were depicting a French, like, art piece of some sorts. And I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look it up. I'm going to, I'm going to find it. I'm going to put it up here. Um, and, um, they weren't making fun of that at all. It was a piece of art about French and a feast. And that's what they were depicting. And I can't remember the name of it. Hold on a second. It starts with a D, I believe. My aunt actually posted a, a thing about it as well. Um, in regard to the opening ceremonies at Paris Olympics, someone who is well-versed in Greek mythology, I, she shared this. Um, anyway, in case you are unaware, and I can't pronounce all these names. Anyway, a box. Kalia is an extravagant party. The party was to honor the god of wine, Bacchus, also known as Dionysus, the Greek god of fertility. This is important to note because the Olympics, there was a guy painted blue, covered in vines and fruit, that was laying on the table of what everyone believes to be a mockery of the Last Supper, but it was actually a depiction of the god of Dionysus at the ancient Baca Alia dinner or whatever. So anyway, and then the headpiece of the center of the person, um, in both photos, though there are also 18 people instead of 12 disciples. It was not death on a pale horse as written in the Bible. It was Sequana, goddess of the Sian River in which the boat procession took place. She was meant to be the representation of the Olympic spirit and of Sequina. Um, so yeah, that was very interesting. But yeah, there's like a picture of the, the Last Supper. And then of course, then their little portrayal at the bottom. So yeah, it's definitely, I was like, what in the world? Why would, 
Why would the Olympic Committee, why would the Olympics itself do something like that, so controversial, so political, or anything like that? Um, because it's, the Olympics is uniting everybody. You know what I mean? It's uniting everybody from around the globe to compete in their their skills that they've worked so hard for. So just a little bit of a clarity about that because I, I had to read myself before I made any like comments about it because I did not know what was going on. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what the whole thing was. Um, I did, however, um, watch on YouTube um, Celine Dion y'all like seriously freaking goose bumps with Celine because she like knocked I'm beautiful absolutely beautiful beautiful I've always liked Celine Dion she's always had such a great voice and um she just like I'm like got goosebumps now just like talking about her she's amazing she's an amazing amazing artist and I wish her well I hate that she's very sick um but, um, but yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because I was so confused. Somebody had said last night that they're not watching the Olympics and I'm like, because of the mockery of Christ. And I'm thinking, did I miss something? Cause I'm like completely out on left field here with this one. Cause I have no clue what was going on. So anyway, um, and then, like I said, I was trying to look it up and then my aunt had posted something and I'm like, oh, so this is what everybody's talking about interesting. So I'm glad that there are some people out there who can clarify that and, and give it some, a little bit of, of understanding, but, um, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's it. So I'm going to walk over to my hair salon and get myself situated and tell her exactly what I want. I mean, she's probably not even there yet. I still have about five minutes, but, um, so the other thing this like weekend, I've been so busy that I haven't even been able to like get caught up. I didn't even get to do sheets yesterday in my room. I didn't get to do laundry yesterday at all. So I have just been so busy this weekend and, um, busy with this weekend and I'm not, I'm not ready to share exactly everything that that's been going on. Um, it's good stuff. Let's just say that it's good stuff. It's nothing horrible, nothing bad at all. Um, uh, we've just been busy and thinking about a lot of things and doing a lot of things and researching a lot of things. And when that time is right, if everything goes through, everything goes, excuse me, the way, um, you know, that we're kind of planning regardless, um, I will share all that stuff with you guys when the time is right, when that time comes. But right now we're just going to kind of keep it under wraps. Um, but it's just something to possibly look forward to in the future. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just going to kind of keep all that stuff, um, between, between me and Brian and, uh, we will share all of the things when we are ready to share all of the things. Um, but because we don't want to jump to conclusions, we don't want to share anything until it's permanent, that type of thing. So, but, um, could be good things. Yep. Yeah. Or it could be, could be the same as what we're doing right now. So, um, but anyway, yeah, so we're, we're, we're excited regardless. Nonetheless, it's it, whether I'm, I'll be happy either way. Let's just say that either way, either way, we will be completely fine and happy. So, um, but yeah. And then, so when I get home today, after I'm done here, um, I am going to go home and I'm going to strip the bed, do the sheets, do laundry and all the things that I did not get to do this weekend because we were just so busy, which is great. I'm, I was fine with being busy, um, and just having something to do all weekend. Cause sometimes we just like, we get into like a funk and, and I'm, and I'm, like guilty of that. I get in such a funk where I'm like, eh, I just don't feel like going anywhere or doing anything. I'm just so comfortable being at home. And I am, I am such, I am such an introvert, which is kind of funny because I kind of used to be extroverted. And then I kind of like the older that I've been getting, I've been turning into like an introvert where I, I just like to be at home. I don't like to be out in public anywhere. Um, I just like to be you know, not surrounded by a bunch of people. I know Disney's a whole other level of being surrounded by people, but I also don't have to be surrounded by a bunch of people there if I don't have to be. You know what I mean? I mean, you can like, <coughs> you can go, <coughs> excuse me, you can go back to your room. Oh no, oh no, oh no, don't drop my phone. That's not good. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. All right, it's like nine o'clock and she's not even here yet, but 
I love this salon. It's such a, it's really great. It's such a really cool insight as well. I love the way that it looks, but all right. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for her. All righty guys. So there is my hair. It feels good. It feels so much lighter. Um, obviously, I mean, she styled it really, really good too, but I, I don't know. It's kind of cute this way. I can't really see it, but, um, it actually looks really cute this way, but I prefer a little bigger, like, you know, a little bigger, more volume, more boof. But um, it's cute. Like I said, it's a little bit lighter too, as far as like the cut goes. It's really cute. It's actually shorter, obviously, than normally. Um, but I really, really do like it. Um, it's something different for a change too, you know. Um, and something again, just not so hot. And uh, that's. But I just want again. I just kind of wanted something different. I wanted to change it up just a little bit. And I was gonna stop and get some fries. But I'm just like, I'm so over it. I'm not going to wait in this line for just some french fries. So I am going to head probably home. Where am I going to Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A sounds good. I have not had Chick-fil-A since, like, I had the one time that they, when they reopened. And they didn't have the gluten-free bun. And now I'm assuming, I would hope, cross my fingers, that they would have a gluten-free bun. Okay, now I'm behind this truck. Who's going really, like, okay. Okay. I am starving though. So my hair appointment was at nine o'clock and I just got out of there at like 1230. And I'm like, that is a long time to sit in the chairs. Cause I had to go from like one chair to another chair, one chair to another chair. And then the rinse and then the wash and then the sit and then the rinse and then the wash and then the sit. It's all crazy, but it's so worth it in the end because it looks so good and it looks so cute. And she does such a great job. And I scheduled my next appointment for like it was like nine weeks out, um, which gives me plenty of time because nine weeks would be right when we are getting ready to go to Disneyland. So that is great. So I'm curious how to get into my, my Chick-fil-A because I was going to go over here. All right. Oh my God. The line is long there. Of course it is. It's like lunchtime. I shouldn't expect anything any different. So, ugh. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. All right, so Chick-fil-A is out as well. So I might just go to Taco Bell if the line is not long because I can eat stuff at Taco Bell. So I just kind of want something quick so I can get home, eat, and then get busy in my bedroom. I got to get the sheets off the bed and stuff folded and start laundry. Taco Bell for the win. All right, I'm home. I changed clothes. I pulled my hair back. I had lunch. And now I'm about ready to take the sheets off the bed and start some laundry. And it's 1.40. <laughs> so I'm getting a late start, but at least I'm going to get it done. I also need to clean my glasses. I can tell they're a little dirty. So those are things that I'm going to be doing and getting done today. But I just wanted to go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm not going to do any of the cleaning and stuff on video. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the past couple of days. When we went to <clears throat> the Urban Air with the girls, we had so much fun. Um, but yeah, got my hair done. Looks great. Feels good. I can still put it in a ponytail, which looks fine. And, um...